Oh, we're starting. Okay, I forget. <laughs> okay, so welcome to October 24th, my mama's birthday. If she were still with us, she would be, let's see, 64, 67, 87 years old today. She went to be with the Lord on uh, December 4th, 2010. But she knew Jesus, so she, she's uh, fishing up there. If there's such a thing, <laughs> I don't think they fish because there's no death in heaven. So, but I know she's eating. You know, we talk about the big buffet that that will eat at the master's table in heaven, but there's no death, so there won't be any meat, right? And I've heard people talk about the big old steak and the great food, and yeah, it'd probably be like great food for sure. But there's not going to be any meat. It's going to be the food, I'm sure, that was in the Garden of Eden, Eden in the beginning that was going to be to sustain. Because our bodies will be immortal. We won't need food to keep us alive. But I'm sure it'll still be pleasant for the palate. Amen? But nevertheless, um, our insight reading scripture for today, as you can see on the screen, probably is uh, 2 Corinthians 4, 16-18. And we'll be picking up in Jeremiah in chapter 3 through 5 and then 1 Timothy 4 for our New Testament reading. Father, we just thank you for all the rain here in Oklahoma. I don't know where y'all are at, if you're in other places, but we've got a lot of rain. It's still today, it's still still raining, but we kind of needed it here. So I, I will never complain about that, Father, pardon me. And I thank you for waking us up today. Father, I just continue in my prayers for the people in Palestine and, and in Israel and everyone that's innocent that's in the middle of this and that's suffering because of this war. And I ask for those that have hard hearts against Israel that's blaming them for a lot of what's going on and on both sides of that coin and all the innocent people that are being affected, Father. I ask that the Holy Spirit pour out on these folks that do not have a confession in Jesus and do not know the truth while there's still time so that they might be saved, Father. I ask that you bless the reading of your word today, Father. Help us to soak it all in, or as the word says, to eat it, to digest it. I know that they don't technically eat it. It means to ingest it, to absorb it, to get it down on the inside and that's what we need to do father so that we can share it with those that may not understand you know and i ask that you give us that understanding and discernment and wisdom and knowledge and all of the above for your words so that we can share with other folks so if they have a question i know your holy spirit speaks through us as well Father, use us as willing vessels to share your word to any and everyone. Just plant those seeds. Just use us to plant the seeds. I know that you normally have others to water and, and you do the watering and everything else. But put them in our path, Lord, that we can share the gospel with folks while there's still time. And we pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I know it seems like I pray the same prayer every day, but that is my prayer every day for, for the innocent people that are suffering from this war and to pray for the knowledge and wisdom and understanding and discernment of his word because I do want that. Just as Solomon prayed for wisdom, I too want that. I want the knowledge and understanding. I want when I read his word for me to have understanding and I have found that when I do that, when I read his word, I'll get it, you know, like when I'm reading something, I'll be like, wow, it can't be that simple. It can't be that obvious. And so I'll study it. What I'm thinking is it can't be that obvious. And I'll, you know, look, check several different resources, you know, to see what they say about that particular scripture. And they'll be saying the same thing, you know, that this is what it's saying. And I'll be like, well, I'll be darned. <laughs> it, it was that obvious for me. And, and I, that's because I asked God and he is so happy to let us understand. I believe it was Daniel that had a vision and he prayed and asked God to let him know, you know, to help him to understand what this vision meant and God sent an angel. Was it Daniel? 
I think. Pretty sure it was Daniel. Anyways, let's do this. I still have another video to make, and that's the long one. But it's because I like doing that guy with the video. I just wish it didn't buffer so much. I don't really know what to do about that, but nevertheless, nevertheless. Second Corinthians four sixteen through eighteen. Now Paul begins Second Corinthians with heartfelt words of comfort. Verse one, chapter one. Uh, 3 through 7 and returns to that theme in chapter 4 16 through 18 in tandem with this comfort however he relates the difficulties he and his co-workers have endured we were under great pressure far beyond our ability to endure so that we despaired of life itself in chapter 4 he says we are hard pressed on every side persecuted and struck down we carry around in our body the death of jesus but Paul is quick to note that we're not abandoned and adds, we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. That's why he could bracket this chapter with the theme of hopeful perseverance. We do not lose heart. Amen. And this was that was written by Tim Gustafson. And then... We read that scripture. I don't know why it does that. Uh, it says, therefore, we do not lose heart or seeing the invisible. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And I just got a warning that my battery is low on my headset. I forgot to charge it last night. Darn it. Let me... Oh, yes, I have. Yay, here's a cord. Well, if I'm going to have to be tethered to my computer, I'm going to put my other headset on. I can hear better in it anyway. Bear with me for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> 